Okay. Oh, we had a key all the time? Wow. I didn't even notice. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take down the Enos. Yeah, th that's actually what they're called. I know that off the top of my head somehow. Look. So we're gonna go ahead and take these guys down. Why they split into three when they die? I don't know. Wait. Did I just hear the bell toll? I think I did. Oh yeah, because look at that. We're almost at the dawn of the second day. Holy crap. Alright, um... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, there's another bit of snow hanging out through there again. Just on the wall, randomly. And it's pretty obvious that there's something hidden there. There's just a random diamond shape in the wall. So take out your lens of truth. And you will be able to see that... Oh! You will be able to see me turning into a Goron, and then turning back out of a Goron. There you go. But what you're actually trying to see is this stray fairy. Oh yeah. And now that I think about it, I actually haven't missed any stray fairies. I was a little worried there for a moment, but I need not be worried. Okay, uh, take off that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember where the last three stray fairies are for sure. Two of them are really easy, too. One of them is kind of difficult. Oh, dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Wow. It's so weird to just see that text appear on the screen like that. Normally, it's like cuts, and it's like black, and it's like, dawn of the second day. And it goes all epic mode. Okay, yeah. Two of the stray fairies that you're looking for are actually in this room. Guarded by these guys. No. Okay, die. Okay. So basically, a good strategy I find for these guys is just... Go up to them, block, and... Or, block, and... Well, okay, I'm trying to do it here. Ow! Okay, I'm trying to show off a good strategy here, but they're kicking my ass. Okay, so block, and hit. There you go. That's actually a pretty good strategy for anything. Just block, block, and hit. Because after something hits, it's normally open. It's normally vulnerable after that. Isn't it? There you go. Basically, any time their sword rebounds off your shield, they're open. See? Oh, come on. That should have hit his friend, too. One right through. That fire went right through his friend. Did you see that? Okay. I can't see. Okay. I couldn't see anything. There we go. Now let's get this guy. Whoa. Oh, yes. That's him down. And. Yeah, don't worry if you take a lot of. Don't worry if you take too many hits in this battle, because each of them will drop a stray fairy. Oh my goodness. Okay, get over here. Yeah, and stray fairies will heal you, in case you didn't know. They're fairies too, so heal power activate. Alright, now we're actually nearing almost the top of this place. Ew, that's a boring ceiling. They could have made that so much more interesting, that ceiling. I never noticed that. It's just ugly though anyways uh yeah now that we're up here we can actually head down here uh, ow. Uh. okay and our last stray fairy that we need to collect is off the edge somewhere around here I don't remember which edge though is it down there I can't see it no down there yes it is because as you can see uh well it's kind of hard to point out but you can see a little bit of snow just hanging there and as I said it's always just it there's always a hidden wall or a fake wall there the wall is a fake or is the cake a fake or is the papaya faker whatever let's just hop down and roll on in to claim your final stray fairy um if I can get in front of the chest that is thank you and you found all the stray fairies quick take them to their fellow fairies of the same color I'll do that later Alright, um, does this Deku flower actually allow me to get back up to the top? Or no? I didn't think so, but it allows me to go over here, which is a nice little, uh, it'll, it saves me some time. Not that it would have been a big problem to make it back up here otherwise, but it's quite handy. Alright, and we'll take out the Goron mask here, put on the Goron over the Deku. That's just such a ridiculous image. And now we can go ahead and just punch out the snowballs. Oh yeah. Take him out, Goron. Well, don't hit the bars on the side. That's just ridiculous. 
and the final spiral staircase of the dungeon, maybe, perhaps, I don't know. Okay, um, and as you can see, the boss door is right over there, but we still have a problem, and that's that we don't have a boss key. Oh, look at that thing that's, like, surrounding the boss door, too, that's kind of cool, it's like, nice gradient spikes. Hmm, yeah, and is it just me, or does the room get a lot brighter and more colorful when you get higher up? I think it does, because look at all these, like, nice blue and yellow, or turquoise and yellow lights that are around here, and there's some dark blue. I don't know. Nice design of this temple. I must applaud them. Except for the ceiling. Ugh! Okay. Now, we want to go ahead and launch ourselves over this. And, there's another Deku flower here. It's cool how they implement the, De the Deku scrub into such a... I don't know. Because this environment really contrasts with the Deku scrub. Like, the Deku scrub would just, like, freeze to death here. But, not us, apparently, because we're just that cool. Alright, get some free supplies. And, we're gonna see a rehash of a boss in here. Or a rehash of a mini-boss, actually. What? The Wizrobe again! Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that at all. Oh, wow. Okay, and the same compass trick still works, except... Ah, he goes up there, so I can't get him with the Goron Punch. Okay, yeah, the compass trick still works, as you can see. That little red dot still, still appears on the map. Okay, so he's over there now. Yeah, don't... One thing I should mention, too, that I didn't mention last time fighting this guy, is don't get too close to him until he appears and starts spinning around, because otherwise he's just going to disappear on you, and you probably saw that happen a few times last time I fought him. When he's doing this clone thing, though, that doesn't happen. You can stay as close as you want to him while he's appearing. Alright, and he's down. Just four Goron punches. That's, like, more overpowered than the Goron... Or the, than Big Goron sword. I swear. Alright, and... Over to the purple tiles here, and head, head out the door. And... Here is the boss key. Good. Whenever the... Goron opens his chest. It looks like he's opening it so gently. Probably because if he tried to open it, like, as forcefully as the Link seems to, he would probably just throw the chest or something. That would be kind of funny. Someone should make, like, an FMV of that or whatever. Just a random video of that. Okay, now to head back down to here so I can work my way back up to the top. And then, once I'm back up there, we have all the stray fairies, we have the boss key. All that's really left is to fight the boss. I did this within a freaking time frame compared to the last time I did this temple. Because last time it took like an hour and ten minutes or something to do. I, I cut out a lot of it, or I tried to, but I couldn't post the episodes because of technical stuff. Te technical blah blah that I already spoke about a bit. But this time I did it in 42 minutes it looks like. And that, well, actually a little less, maybe 35 minutes. I don't know. But... Yeah, I might actually get this all in two videos. Two 17-minute videos, maybe. Okay, ooh! That guy's ugly. Look at him. Look, I'm just gonna go right up to him. I'm gonna stare at him. And I'm gonna laugh. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Seriously, look at his face. It's like all wrinkly. It reminds me of Gruntilda the Witch. Yeah, except the big horns. I don't know, the big horns might sue Gruntilda too, but... Nah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get my fire arrows out, because there's really nothing to do in this room. As you can see, uh, there's just a big little cardboard-looking wall there. And there's some magic pots here that actually respawn, I think. Or they should. For what's upcoming, for what's upcoming they should. And then there's wall, another wall there with this random guy frozen here. So even though... Oh, I didn't mean to put that on. Gosh. Even though we really probably shouldn't, because the boss is better off frozen. We're gonna have to thaw him out. And... He slowly thaws down. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. He's massive. And what's his name? It's... Master Mechanical Monster. Goat. Ow. Yeah. I've always debated with myself on the pronunciation of that name. It's either Got or Goat. I, it's, it seems like it should be Goat because, well, he's a freaking goat. And ow! Come on, don't electrocute me. That ain't cool, bro. Yeah. 
So basically, this is a really, really creative way to fight a boss. Because you, you're like rolling around as a Goron, and you just have to get close to him basically and hit him. But I love the, just the design of this boss, it's so awesome. Because there's like no other boss in Zelda history that you fight like this. Normal's just like a circular room, and or something, and then you just go at it with your sword or whatever item you got in the dungeon. This one you don't actually use the item that you got in the dungeon except to s initiate the battle. You actually just use the mask that you got in the area for it. Alright. Yeah, so I suppose I should talk about this guy's battle techniques or whatever. Uh, he's going to throw a quite a few different tactic against, tactics against you throughout this the length of this battle. And the first of few of you, <laughs> first few you've already seen, he just kicks rocks at you like a douche. And then he can somehow electrocute you too. There's a really easy way to beat this boss, by the way. Like, really cheap. And I might show that off in a bonus part or something, but... Or maybe next time, because you actually have to fight this guy multiple times to get... 100%. S sorry for if, if that's spoilers for anyone, but you do. Right. And, oh no, avoid, avoid, avoid. Oh, gosh. I was just going to roll up there and punch him if he just stayed in one spot. But no. Okay. And I also want to show off something here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. If you land on top of him like that, then you can just stun him for a little bit like this and just completely rape him up the butt. Almost literally. Okay, now as you can see, he's starting to throw a bit more at us. There are stalactites falling from the ceiling now that could hinder your path. As well as he himself is electrocuted. So, oh, what? I ran out of magic. Oh no. Um, give me some. Thanks. But yeah, he himself is electrocuted. So, I don't know if you like touch him in the wrong spot if he's gonna if it's gonna stop you. But if it does, then that's annoying. And believe it or not, this isn't actually the last phase of the battle. He still has one more tactic that he's going to start throwing out at us. Maybe. If I don't... Oh, yeah. Oh, see? There he goes. That's the final tactic that he's going to use against us. And that's going to be throwing bombs at us from his legs or something. I don't know. But yeah. It's kind of funny because, you know, like, in Ocarina of Time and probably other games too, you always stop Gorons with bombs. And he's not trying to do any different. He's trying to stop you with bombs. He's just also using a lot of other stuff. Oh! Well, that was an easy boss. Yeah. While the design might be great, he himself is actually pretty easy. If you know what you're doing. But he dies epically. Look at that. He just rams into a wall. He gets buried. May he rest in peace. Because as we know, these bosses are just like souls that got taken over by evil spirits. Oh well, thanks for the heart container though. Much appreciated. That makes 10 hearts. Look at that. A full row of hearts already. Actually, not already. We're like 30 parts into this. You seized God's remains, or goats. You have just freed the innocent spirit that, that this dark mask had kept prisoned within the body of the evil goat. And... Swirls up into the air. And I don't think I'm going to talk at all during the scenes coming up, just because it's so amazing. That was beautiful. I think I actually talked through the last cutscene like that, but not this time. It's just too amazing to stare at. You just stand in awe of it. Wait, what's this? <gasps> the snow is all melted away. The curse has been lifted. Our Goron brother is unfrozen. And it's, he's still cold, but it's like, look. Oh, the sun came out. It's so beautiful now. 
Oh, it's springtime again. That has got to be one of the most calming yet rewarding victory fanfares that I've ever heard. Okay, and it just drops us in front of this random spring here where there's a frog and there's the mountain cabin with like the mountain smithy in it. Anyways, uh, that pretty much clears up the Snowhead Temple. And again, just one more time, I want to apologize if my commentary was not the best during that. I think I did pretty well considering, well, all things considering. But yeah, just one more thing that I have to do, can't forget this, before I end my recording session. And that is, well, actually, I can probably just, uh, I'm probably, I should probably just use the Song of Soaring to get back up to Snowhead. Because there's one thing that you have to do there, really quick. Yeah. You really don't want to forget this before, chain, before like, going back in time, again. Because if you do, then... It'll be a real pain to you later. Trust me, I've done it before. Not in like my pra my last recording of this, but just in normal playthroughs before. Yeah, and it's no fun. All right, so um, here's the big gore on that we randomly knocked off. That we made him fall asleep and knocked him off. Does he have anything to say? Can I talk to him? Let's see. Darmani, what in the world have I been doing this whole time? Uh, you've been sucking and blowing and blowing and sucking. Who knows why? I can't remember a thing since I went out to look for around Snowhead to figure out why spring wasn't coming. What am I doing sitting in place like this? Question marks. Many question marks. Well, you're sitting there because I knocked you into the bottomless pit, which apparently isn't bottomless since you were able to climb back out of it. Oh well. Yeah, so, the one thing that you don't want to forget to do is turn in your stray fairies to this, to this, uh, great fairy here. Because if you forget that, you'll have to go back through the temple, get all the stray fairies again, and it's a pain in the ass. Right? Go, my jungle friends. Be with your brethren. Or your sister thrin. However you say that. And nasty hair. Nasty hairy with green fair? No. Nasty fairy with green hair. Oh, wise young one. I am the great fairy of wisdom. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall enhance your magic power. You gonna enhance me, are you? Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we have ten hearts and a magic meter to match. Hallelujah. And now the Goron's king of the world. Okay, your magic power has been enhanced. You now have twice as much magic power. Come see me whenever you are overcome by wariness. Maybe, if I'm ever in the area anytime soon. Which I probably will be, because there's... Now that we've cleared up that temple, there's actually a lot you can do. Okay. Um, one more cool thing that I want to just show off really quick before the episode ends. Is, uh... Well, first of all, if you come over here, these white... These white wolfos, or these wolfos, are no longer white. Because it's springtime. But also, look at this. This is one of... of very rare shot that I that I've like hardly ever seen before. It's of the moon without its face. Like the face is on the exact opposite side, so you can't see it. It actually looks like a normal moon kind of, except for the fact that it's abnormally large, but that's just kinda cool and it looks really great at night. I might get a shot of that. Actually yeah, I'm gonna try that. Actually no, because I need to preserve as much time as possible for the next little bit that I need to do here. So um, I think that's it, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.